Today is Tuesday, July 31st, 2007. Today's topic doesn't really have anything to do with actually making a movie. But knowing how to work a camera can really help you make your movies look a lot more professional. I'm Sean. And I'm Peter. Today we'll be going over how to use a camera. Making a movie is most definitely not an automatic process. So, your camera should almost never be set to automatic. If you've gotten used to simply turning a camera on and pressing record, then your habits will probably change after watching today's episode. Controlling a camera is all about controlling light. The aperture is a circular ring of blades that can open or close to let in more or less light. When opened up, not only will there be more light, but it also decreases the depth of field, meaning there will be less depth in the scene, or more precisely, less of the scene will be in focus. When the aperture closes down, it's the exact opposite. More of the scene will be in focus. Back in the film days, film came in different sensitivities. This was often referred to as the speed of the film because the more sensitive the film was to light, the faster shutter speed you could use. Now digital cameras use sensors instead of film, but they work in a very similar way. At the touch of a button, you can increase or decrease your camera sensor's sensitivity to light. When it's dark, using a high sensitivity will let in more light but will also add noise. This is arguably the biggest problem digital still has over film. The last option you have for controlling your light is one that you really shouldn't mess with. Many digital video cameras give you control over their shutter speed. So if you shoot at 1 24th of a second, then you almost always want your shutter speed to be as close to 1 24th as possible. A shutter speed of 1 24th means that each frame will last for 1 24th of a second. This creates a motion blur that we're used to seeing in movies. When you increase the shutter speed while keeping your frame rate the same, not only will it let in less light, but it will cause the motion blur to lessen and make it look unnatural. The end. The end. You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large. How was the movie? It was good. Not as good as number three, but almost. So that makes it second best. Yeah. Uh. Shoot the dog. Shoot the dog. <laughs> you gotta catch up first. No, I saw four before I saw three. I never even saw three. And four sucked. You know that. It wasn't that bad. It was average. The second one was the worst. Second one had the flattest storytelling, but at least it was edited and whatnot well enough. The fourth one was just sloppy. It was gross. It was no. disgusting to watch. I disagree. You read any of the books? No. I don't like fantasy. You watched a movie. I don't like fantasy books. It's pretty hot in here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, it's because it's still the afternoon. Like, we normally do this at night. Yeah. I mean, like, was there anything, like... Does anybody get, get killed? That's a major character? Huh? Oh great, thanks for spoiling it for me. You yeah. asked. Well, it is getting darker. It feels like, if you look at the movies as a whole, mm -hmm. it's reaching a climax. Yeah, it is. And that's how I like to look at it. 
Yeah, even then, that's kind of poor storytelling episodically. You know what I mean? Well, that's how the books are written. That translates well into books, but not as well for movies sometimes. I think it does for Harry Potter, though, because you're not just going to watch one. You're not going to watch Harry Potter 5 as if it's a standalone movie. Nobody's going to watch just one as it's, it's by itself. But still, it would, would be even better if, you know, it could be standalone. Think of the writing involved in that. That's pretty quality writing. Not necessarily. Like Star Wars. Wow. Star Wars. That was wow. Even then, nobody's going to watch just one Star Wars movie. But they could and still understand it. They could still understand Harry Potter if they would watch just one. Oh, so they can now, huh? They can understand it. It might not be as enjoyable, but... Oh, let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Star Wars isn't going to be as enjoyable unless you know the whole story. It's trivial. Like episode five, you can just watch over and over. I've never seen those. I know that. I've only seen one, two, and three. My favorite is two. I know that. Which, yeah. Your favorite Star Wars movie is Attack of the Clones. That says a lot. That was a good movie. It was a good movie in the way that uh, a lot of average movies are good.